Yeah, mom, welcome back to the channel. Back on the trials bike, and uh, I've uh, kind of redone my uh, little course out here about uh, four or five times, and uh, uh, so I got got it almost to where I'm finished. But I wanted to get out here before it got too cold and uh, show you guys some of the stuff that I built. So anyways, uh, I'm going to show you some of my things real quick for the rain comes, weather change. Don't forget Enduro 31 brings all your Sherco and uh, if you got Yamaha and uh, KTM stuff. Uh, well, also they got clothing, uh, accessories, tires, you name it. Head down to Enduro 31. Uh, they're down on, if you're around the uh, West Virginia area or not give them a call They could probably find what you need. So head down there. Uh, so let's get on to um, Some of my uh, <laughs> Some of my things that may kill me, but you know, we'll see So let's start off with the first one, which is probably the easiest All right, so this is uh first one just a uh, barrel stuck in the ground this will be using for uh, like uh, double blip. So that wasn't bad, moved a little bit, but uh, so the next one I built, <laughs> kind of sketchy too, is a, well not, that one wasn't that sketchy, but uh, this is a little A-frame thing I built a long time ago, never really used it, or actually, like I said, I haven't done any of these. So this is the first time I'm going over them so they could break, I gotta see how they, you know, react with the bike going over it and everything else, so that's why I'm giving a, little test run tonight so uh, let's try the A-frame alright <laughs> as you see that one's a little bit more sketchier uh, I don't know if it's too tall or I gotta jump off the end or but it's almost like straight down the other side so but uh yeah so let's move on all right let's go to this one right here this one uh is a triple log kind of step up onto some pallets and then onto a barrel I'm not sure how well the barrel is going to stay in and then into a uh little uh rock uh, balance section so I may change that may use these rocks may uh, help it support that but we'll see see what it does first So that was basically what I thought on this one. I'm gonna have to connect the um, the pallets up top on the top and kind of put them a little stronger to hold that barrel. And then uh, the front logs, I need to strengthen them up a little bit, but it was pretty cool. <laughs> Obviously the first time I didn't get it really good. Haven't been on a while, it's gonna take a lot of practice. So, uh, but, yeah, so that's kind of like a like a little double right there, and then uh, into that little rock thing at the end. I, like I said, I may use those rocks something else, so that may be a little change up. Uh, so the next one I got is kind of, uh, and these also you can go both ways if you want to. <laughs> like I said, the first one you can go both directions. Uh, that little. Uh, uh, triangle thing I built 
I don't know, I may have to try going the other side, the other way, maybe a little bit different. And uh, this one, you can go both directions, but like I said, I need to uh, tighten it up a little bit and strengthen it and see what happens. All right, so this so. next one starts off with a little three, three logs. And um, they're not as steep, so, and then it goes up on these pilots up on top and then you can drop off over here this side and then going back the other direction i got to find a way to kind of connect that in a little bit better so right now it's only uh one direction so uh, let's see what it does let's see Like I said, I got a lot of practice to do. So, <laughs> all right, so this one, uh, three barrels, two pallets. I can always take, uh, thought when I get better, take this pallet off over here, and then you have kind of like a, a step up. Uh, but for now, <laughs> with my skills, we're going to uh, leave it with the uh, two pallets, and then kind of like a kicker at the top, and then uh, it's nice slope on both sides so you can do it either direction so uh, let's give it a shot all right uh, so that wasn't too bad that was pretty fun so yeah it looked like it held together pretty good uh, may need to tighten up a few things, but all in all, I didn't break my neck. <laughs> all right, this is a little tabletop, uh, kind of messing around. And then what it goes off into is this, uh, uh, little balance beam. I'm not sure I want to hit this yet. It's not too bad. It's a little, little wobbly. So... And it's, uh, I don't know, it's probably about three feet high. But let's see what the um, tabletop. All right, well, that one I got to uh, fix up a little bit. But this one right here, uh, it's probably about, I'd say about two and a half feet. It's going to be a, uh, like a zap or... A double blip uh, on the front and then it's got to drop off but also you'd be able to come up hit that little top section kind of do a little small one there and then come back over the top uh, that'll be in the next video and then this last one right here <laughs> this is a big guy I'm working on um, it's gonna be a blip wall uh, zap got uh i don't know it's probably about three three and a half foot and uh so you're gonna come out of this little section right here up on here i gotta finish cutting some stuff down so but yeah uh thanks for coming out just want to give you guys a little short uh uh clip of my uh track and i wanted to see how much uh stuff i need to work on get the thing fully rideable and pretty safe it's pretty safe now I just like i said i figured i had to tighten up a few little areas but hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys check out enduro 31 in bridgeport west virginia off the mall exit so they got all your sureco needs man like the bike i'm riding so see you later